video, I'm going to show you how to add wood base to an existing interior wall. So first you'll select the wall, then you'll click edit type. And we're going to add the base down here. Now, when you pull this up and maybe in floor plan view, you want to see the addition of the wood base. So you're going to switch to section view. Then you're going to go to structure and we're going to go click on sweeps. Now we need to load a profile. So how you find this folder with all of the crown molding and wood base is it's under the US Imperial folder, you go down to profiles and then finish carpentry. And then for this one, if you just click on these, you'll see the profile. So I'm just going to choose base two, hit open. And now I'm going to add the wall sweep to that wall. So I'm going to click add. And then I'm going to go down to base two. And since we have a high ceiling, I'm going to choose a higher base. I'm going to go with five and a half. And then I'm going to duplicate it because we want it on both sides. And then where it says side here, we can't have two on top of each other on one side. So we're going to change one of these to interior and then hit apply and OK. And now as you zoom in, you can see that you have the wood base on both sides of the wall. So then I'll click OK. Apply and OK. Now everywhere where we have that wall type, that wood base will be there. Okay, so let's throw a camera view in there real quick. You can see what this looks like. So we'll go to view, click on the arrow next to 3D view, and then do camera. And we'll look at this wall. All right, so you see that we have the wood trim there. But you notice that it's not on the exterior wall. Well, we need to add that finishing touch there. So we need to um, add wood trim just on one side of that wall. So let's click on the level one view. And then we're going to select the exterior wall. Then we'll go to edit type. And we will go to edit structure. Click on sweeps. And then we're going to add. We don't need to load the profile because we already did that. And on the side, we're going to say that we just want it on the interior side. Then hit apply and OK. And then OK. And then apply and OK. OK, so let's go check out our 3D view again. We'll go to 3D view, camera. Let's kind of expand our view a little bit. And now you can see that that trim is on that side also. You can use this same tool to add crown molding where the ceiling meets the wall also. Okay, so let's add that crown mold. So we're gonna go to level one. We're gonna select this wall, go to edit type, edit the structure, click on sweeps. We're gonna load the profile. Let's just go down to, let's do crown two. Hit open. Then you're going to add that where it says default. We're going to click on the crown two, which is code two. Now, this is where it's a little bit different for wood base or like a toe kick area. You would add, you would take that from the base for a cove, uh, like a cove ceiling or a crown mold, you would take it from the top. And we want it on both sides. So we're going to duplicate that. Change one side to the interior, hit apply and OK. You can see it right there and then hit OK, apply and OK. And then we'll switch it back to our 3D view. You can see there we have it. Um, in line view there, you have your crown mold where the wall meets the ceiling. Now we need to add it to this wall also. So once we add it to, we added it to all the interior walls. Now we need to add it to the exterior walls. Okay, so let's switch, switch back to our level one view. Click on the exterior wall, hit edit type. And we would then go to structure edit, hit sweeps. And we are going to add and we should be able to select that since we already added it in there okay and then we're going to switch that to top 
instead of exterior, interior, hit apply and OK. OK. Apply and OK. Now let's switch back to our 3D view. And you can see now that we have crown molding going around the entire perimeter of the room. So that's how you add wood base and crown mold.